We are at McMaster University located in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. I think you're going to love this one. It's an absolutely beautiful campus and I can't wait to check it out. So let's get started. <laughs> loving the campus here because it's so walkable and there's so many shaded areas and it's just like very peaceful very pleasant campus I'm enjoying walking around here like I could totally see myself studying here the facilities have all been great I mean you go into these buildings and they are clearly top-notch and the programs themselves are excellent so I really like what I'm seeing here at McMaster you know something I've noticed about universities after going to a bunch of them is that the more doors that are locked, the better the stuff is behind them. Like, I'm seeing a bunch of these really cool labs and, and like I can't go in, and that's usually a good sign. That means they got some good stuff in there. One thing that is not locked behind closed doors is the nuclear reactor. There is a nuclear reactor here at McMaster. Will I get superpowers? That seems like I shouldn't be able to go in here. It seems a little sus. Like, do you want to be an accelerator human study person? I don't know if I want to be hit with a particle accelerator. Still, it's pretty amazing that they have particle accelerators on campus. Now, if you're thinking, Meacham, why do I want to go to a university in the suburbs when I can go downtown Toronto and have an awesome time in the city? Well, let me give you a couple things to reconsider about the city, okay? See, I'm in a car, all right? And a car needs to be parked. In less than 36 hours, I got three parking tickets on a particular day and time that I was not supposed to be parked, even though I already paid for a parking permit. Okay, so I had to pay for parking just to pay for parking. And on top of that, crazy people are gonna yell at you, like this guy. Don't you think you're a bitch ass clown where aiming your camera at people? Or do you wanna get smacked in the head? When you're out in the suburbs in a place like Hamilton, you get a little bit more comfort and safety, okay? You've got restaurants here, you've got space to play, there's nature all around you if you wanna go for a hike. You get the best of both worlds, and you're still close enough to the city that if you really want to go downtown and have a fun weekend, you can. Now, one of the things you gotta watch out for at McMaster is the residence situation, okay? So first year international students have the option to choose a residence and stay on campus, but after the first year, you're not allowed to live on campus, so there's not enough space for everybody, and they only give those spaces out to first-year students. So you're gonna have to make some friends, and you're gonna have to figure out a new place to stay when you're done. But there's a lot of places around here in Hamilton, so it won't be too difficult to do. And when it comes to making friends, I don't think you're gonna have a hard time at all. I was walking down a hallway, and like, two guys just stopped a random student that they didn't know, said, hey, what's your name? And then asked him if he wanted to play Frisbee. People here really genuinely seem to care about each other, and you don't see that same level of like tight integration at every campus, so. I really like that about McMaster. If you're an international student, you're gonna feel welcome here. You're gonna have a great time at this university, so you should definitely check it out. When it comes to admissions at McMaster, there's one simple piece of advice, and it's the one I say all the time, but it really, truly applies here. Apply early. McMaster does not discriminate between international or domestic students. All of you are gonna be reviewed in the exact same way based on your grades. The sooner you apply, the sooner you can score one of the limited spots available for the program of your choice. If you get in, then you can start working on things like your scholarships, and that is a big deal. McMaster is 
is a lot more expensive for international students compared to domestic students. You're looking at a tuition price of between 40 and 50,000 Canadian dollars per year. So you're going to want to take advantage of the international scholarships that McMaster has to offer. First of all, there are automatic grants that you can get simply because your grades were in some of the top percentiles. So if you have an absolutely outstanding high school profile, make sure you apply. They're really looking at just the last one or two years of high school, last two years if you did IB. So that's all they care about. They don't look at, you know, all the years before. So if you had a couple of bad years in high school, don't worry. If you finish strong, you might get paid. There are scholarships for people who play sports, even though they're small. And there's also a scholarship for people who identify as black. And you can combine all of those scholarships together to form a really good financial aid package as an international student. So don't be shocked by the sticker price. If you see the number and you think it's a little too high, apply anyway and then see what scholarships you can get. I don't need a campus tour, but I do need to talk to Jessica. Hi there, my name is Jessica Ramirez. I'm the International Liaison Officer for McMaster that looks after the Latin American market. If you do have any questions for me, feel free to reach out at international.mcmaster.ca. I do speak Spanish as well, so happy to assist in any way that I can. Thank you. I want to say a big thank you to Jessica Ramirez for taking the time to talk to me today, filling me in on all these details, and also thank you guys for watching the whole video. If you're still here, I appreciate it. This has been a really great campus to tour. I have had a ton of good times here. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next week.